in efforts to contribute to peace and fostering economic development in Bayelsa State. The Danish government is committing 1.4 billion naira in an 18-month project targeted at strengthening peace architectures through community-based crime and violence prevention strategies. Present at the unveiling of the program at Creek Avon in Yenagua, where Governor Doe Diri, EU Ambassador Samuela Isopi, and the Finnish Ambassador, others in the diplomatic delegation include German Deputy Consul Gerald Wolf and UNODC's country representative Oliver Stope, who gave an outline of the project. One of the key objectives of the program is to improve the relationship between communities and the corporate partnership between communities and the security agencies so that in general officers of security become more appreciated by, by their respective host communities. Youth centers that will be created in the communities, we will work with the communities to identify an appropriate uh, building that would maybe uh, could be refurbished for that purpose. To gather to engage in recreational activities, in educational activities, simply in social exchange, but also very importantly in vocational training and in economic empowerment activities. Denmark is a seafaring nation. The safety and security of our commercial vessels and of our seafarers is of tremendous importance to the government of Denmark. And that is why the government of Denmark is committed to address the root causes of insecurity, crime and violence at sea and also on land in the Gulf of Guinea. I'm proud to be here today to formally launch this program and also to publicly announce the generous financial support from the government of Denmark to UNODC's work in Bayelsa State. While appreciating Denmark, other European nations and the UNODC for their support to Bayelsa State, Diri solicited for more assistance in addressing issues of unemployment through the development of small and medium-scale enterprises and agro-allied ventures, particularly in the aquaculture and maritime sectors. We are sitting in the fish belt of Nigeria and we can actually feed not only Nigeria, maybe uh, West Africa as a whole, if we take aquaculture very seriously in Bielsa State. So we'll be looking for your support in terms of um, aquaculture, in terms of uh, agro-allied and agricultural uh, uh, businesses, so that we can actually encourage uh, small and medium-scale enterprises uh, to be productive in this state. The Peace Enhancement and Community-Based Empowerment Initiative Program is a follow-up of a similar project carried out in Bayelsa State by the German government in 2021 and 2023. Theophilus Agidi, Arise News.